Hi, on the ACT, you're gonna run into problems that have to do with mean, median, and mode. So in this video, we're gonna go over the definition of mean, median, and mode and how to calculate them. And then I've got six problems picked out, uh, practice problems on the ACT that have to do with mean, median, and mode as well. So let's take a look. Okay, let's first take a look at mean. Uh, the mean is going to be the same as the average. So if we're going to take the sum of the elements and divide it by the number of the elements, the count of the elements. So if we had the mean of this uh, group of numbers, we would take and add the numbers up and get 180. And then there's five numbers here. So we go 180 divided by 5. And we get an average of 36 or a mean of 36 for this group of numbers. Next, let's take a look at median. The median is simply going to be the middle number. When we take all the numbers and put them in order, the middle number is going to be the median. So half the numbers are going to be less than the median, and half the numbers are going to be greater than the median. So we wanted to find a median of this list of numbers. We could take and rearrange the numbers in order. Uh, makes it a lot easier to see what the middle number is. And then the middle number for this num for this group of numbers is just going to be 67. Now sometimes we're going to have an even number of elements. So if we were to take and rearrange these numbers and then look for the middle number, there is no one single number in the middle. We've got 44 and 57 both in the middle. So in a case like this, we just have to take those two numbers and then take the average of those two numbers. So we're going to take 44 and 57, add them up and divide by 2. That's the number that's halfway in between 44 and 57. And that's going to get us our median of 50.5. And then the last item is just the mode. The mode is just simply the most frequently occurring number. So if you look at these numbers here, um, you can look at them and see that 15 occurs most often. When you have a very long list of numbers, it might help to put them in order. Uh, that way all the numbers are going to be next to each other. So you can take a look here and see that 15 occurs three times, 18 occurs twice, uh, 11 occurs once. So 15 here is going to be the mode, the most frequently occurring number. Okay, let's take a look at these six practice problems that have to do with mean, median, and mode. Right, on the first problem, it says that um, Mrs. Lopez throws out the lowest score. So she eliminates the lowest score, and then she takes the average of the remaining test scores. So we've got these five scores, and we want to find out what the average is. So first of all, we need to get rid of the lowest score. 62 is the lowest out of this, so we get rid of the lowest score. Then we're going to take the average, so we've got to add up. 78, 83, 84, and 93. We add those up and we get 338. We're going to divide by the number of elements that we have, so we've got 4. When we divide that out, we get 84.5, or choice E for this. Okay, on the second problem, um, we've got somebody who has um, an average with these five scores. And it's saying, in order to maintain that exact average, what needs to be the score in the sixth game? So let's figure out what this average is. So if we add up 210, 225, 254, 231, and 281, we get a total of 1,000. Divide that by five games, and we have 200. Now, the way that averages work, if you get your exact average on your next score, that's going to maintain the average. So we would need to get another 200 uh, to match our average in order to maintain that exact average. So it's going to be F for 200. But if you didn't um, see that, you could also say, well, for six games, in order to have an average of 200, we have to have 6 times 200, or 
1,200. So for six games, the total would need to be 1,200. We have 1,000 points so far, so that's another way of getting the 200. We've got to get from 1,000 to 1,200, so we're going to need 200 on that sixth game. Okay, so we have a list of numbers here, and we're just trying to find the median. So we're trying to find the middle one here. You could go ahead and rewrite all these in order. Um, sometimes that takes a lot longer. Uh, I just like to cross out um, from the top and the bottom. So I'll pick the, the highest and lowest and cross them out. So 29 and 13 are the highest and lowest. Then the next highest and lowest is 28 and 15. 27 and 16, 26 and 19, and then 25 and 19, and we're left with 22 and 25 as our two middle numbers. And we've got to find the number that's halfway in between. We could add these together, 47 divided by 2, take the average and we're going to get 23.5 is our middle. And again, I just find that quicker to, to cross off. If you want to rewrite all 12 of these, you're going to get the same. You're going to get a bunch of elements, then you're going to get these two in the middle, and a bunch of elements afterwards. Either way, you're going to get 22 and 25 um, are the two middle numbers, and then we've got to average them to find the median. So K is going to be our answer. All right, in the fourth problem, we have um, a table here that shows the number of goals in a match. So um, we got zero goals in four matches. Um, one goal we did in 10 different matches, and it tells us that we have 43 soccer matches. We could actually have added this and got the 43. Um, and we want to find the average per match. So to find the average per match, we're going to find the total goals divided by the number of matches. And again, they told us that was 43, but we could have added this up. So we can multiply these to get um, the total number of goals. So if we scored zero in four different, goal, in four different games, uh, we've got zero. 10 different times we scored 1, so that's going to be a total of 10 goals. 5 times 2 gets us 10. 9 times 3, 27. 7 times 4, 28. 5 times 5, 25. 1 times 6 is 6. And 2 times 7 is 14. So that is, out of that number of games, that's a total number of goals that we had in all of those games. So now if we add up this whole column here, we're going to get 120 total goals. So we've got 120 total goals divided by 43 games, and that gets us 2.79. We went into the nearest tenth. 2.8 is going to be our closest, um, and our answer is going to be B. All right, on the fifth problem, it's asking us to increase the mean of four numbers by two. How much would the sum need to go up? So the mean is going to be the total divided by four because we have four numbers. So in order for the mean to go up by two, the total would need to go up by eight. Uh, and just if, to convince yourself more, if you didn't see the logic there, we could say, what if the total was a hundred right so a hundred if we had a hundred as a total the mean would be 25 so for that mean to go up by 2 or 27 right the total would have to go up to 108 27 times 4 is 108 uh, so this is another way to look at it, is to pick numbers for unknowns and, and to approach it that way. So we'd have to go from 100 to 108, again, um, an increase of 8, which is this J as our answer.
All right, in the last problem, we've got two unknown numbers in this list. So we've got 41, 35, 30, and then we've got two unknown numbers, and then we've got 15. It tells us the median is 25, and the mode is 15, and we want to find the mean of the whole list. So if the mode is 15, that means that one other of these elements have to be 15 in order to get 15 to be the most, um, most frequent element. So we know that one of these has to be 15. Now in order to get a median of 25, the median is going to fall right there. So that means that these two numbers need to average out to 25, which means this would have to be 20. And we get that because the median is 25. Now we have all six elements, and we can add those up, um, add those all up, and we get 100 and 156. And then we have um, six elements, so we divide by six. 156 divided by six is gonna get us 26, or C as the answer. Thanks for watching. If you have an ACT test coming up, good luck with it. Um, if you're new here and you'd like to subscribe, you can do so right over here. I've got other suggestions of videos for you to watch right here. Uh, please comment below on things that you liked about the videos or ways that I can improve it. And thanks for watching and come back again soon.